I've just learned of the passing of Karl Reiner, a comedy titan whose legacy will cascade down the years. This puts me in mind of a, one of his lesser well-known comedies, perhaps, that he uh, co-wrote and, uh, and starred, Steve Martin, that he made in 1983, called The Man With Two Brains. If you have not seen this movie, you have to see this movie. It's just brilliant. Uh, it's, it's funny in so many different ways. Sight gags, lines, situations, surreal. It tells a story of the world-famous brain surgeon, Dr. Hafhar, who also has the world's most unpronounceable surname, and how he falls in love with a brain in a jar named Miss Melmahay, who also has one of the world's most unpronounceable second names. The thing that I loved about the movie more than anything, and why for me it's like a standout comedy, my favourite of all time, is that the world within The Man With Two Brains is perfect and complete. It has a logical framework to it. Every sight gag, every line, every situation, every little secondary character that comes in totally fits within the bizarre world that is The Man With Two Brains. And I kind of took that into my own writing. So with The Air Affair and The Nursery Crimes and all the rest of it, they are complete wor worlds. I, I try to make them utterly complete with a logical framework that, that, that works. Every small precise detail sits within that main conceit of this bizarre alternative world. So that's, so that's what I loved about The Man With Two Brains. They even created a poet, John Lillison, a one-armed poet, who was the first person to be killed by an automobile. And he's quoted um, a couple of times within the movie. And in closing, I will try and recite one of those poems now. It's called In Dillman's Grove. In Dillman's Grove, my love did die, and now in ground shall ever lie. None could e'er replace her visage till your face brought thoughts of kissage. Very beautiful, isn't it? So, thank you, Carl Reiner.